2024 Kawasaki Ninja 7 Hybrid Motorcycle First Ride Review It's fascinating to contemplate how the future of electric motorcycles will be portrayed in a book a decade from now. This hypothetical book would likely include chapters on the pioneering startups that spearheaded the electric motorcycle revolution and the groundbreaking bikes that transformed the public's perception of electric two-wheelers. It would also delve into the emergence of electric bicycles, which attracted a new generation of riders, as well as the struggles of companies that couldn't fulfill their promises and the entry of major manufacturing giants into the electric motorcycle market. One of the standout chapters would undoubtedly feature hybrid motorcycles, with a prominent mention of the Kawasaki Ninja 7 Hybrid. This motorcycle marked a significant milestone as the first mass-produced strong hybrid motorcycle, designed to address the demands of a modern world where zero and low emission zones have become a reality, even if they haven't reached the United States yet. The key feature of the Ninja 7 Hybrid is its strong hybrid system, signifying that it can operate with both its 451 cubic centimeters internal combustion engine IC, and electric motor running simultaneously or independently. Although the electric motor is optimized for lower speeds, under 40 miles per hour, and short distances, around 7 to 10 miles, it provides a unique riding experience akin to hybrid cars, unlike mild hybrids MEVs, that primarily assist the engine or plug-in hybrids FEVs, that rely on external charging stations. With the Ninja 7 Hybrid, there's no need to search for charging stations or deal with cables, as the battery charges while riding thanks to the engine and regenerative braking. Kawasaki has been dedicated to advancing innovative, environmentally friendly models as part of its commitment to a greener future and carbon neutrality. Besides the Ninja 7 Hybrid, the company has introduced all-electric models like the ZE-1 and Ninja E-1 for urban commuting and even teased a hydrogen-powered concept. What sets the Ninja 7 Hybrid apart is its versatility, aiming to be three motorcycles in one. It serves as a zero-emissions option for city centers with strict environmental regulations, an efficient urban cruiser, and a capable sport touring machine capable of covering over 200 miles in a single day. In terms of chassis design, creating a hybrid motorcycle posed unique challenges due to the inherent constraints of motorcycle packaging and weight limits. Kawasaki's solution involved pairing a lightweight, Ninja 400-inspired steel trellis frame with a reinforced swingarm pivot area and an extended swingarm with a bottom-mount shock linkage. This innovative design allows the Ninja 7 to house its battery pack under the seat without significantly affecting its center of gravity. Despite being named the 7, the motorcycle's size and performance align more closely with a middleweight twin than a small displacement machine akin to the Ninja 650 versus the Ninja 400. When you straddle the Ninja 7, it certainly feels different from its counterparts, with key specifications illustrating the differences. The Ninja 7 Hybrid boasts a 60.4-inch wheelbase, which is 4.9 inches longer than the Ninja 650 and 6.5 inches longer than the Ninja 400, resulting in a weight increase of 77 pounds compared to the Ninja 650 and 134 pounds compared to the Ninja 400. Additionally, the rake is a more relaxed 25 degrees, contrasting with the 24-degree rake of the Ninja 650 and the 24.7 degree rake of the Ninja 400. The trail also measures 4.1 inches compared to 3.9 inches on the Ninja 650 and 3.6 inches on the Ninja 400. These specifications highlight that the Ninja 7 Hybrid is not just distinct in terms of performance but also in its geometry. The suspension settings of the Ninja 7 Hybrid have been tailored to its unique characteristics, incorporating stiffer springs and more aggressive valving to accommodate the added weight. Similarly, the bike features dual 300mm front brake discs to ensure effective braking performance due to the increased weight. With its fairings on, the Ninja 7 Hybrid bears a striking resemblance to a conventional motorcycle, with the exception of some distinctive lines at the rear and a slightly enlarged tail section cleverly concealing the bike's battery. Beneath the fairings, the Ninja 7 Hybrid houses a 451 cubic centimeters parallel twin engine, originally borrowed from the Kawasaki Eliminator but enhanced with new velocity stacks, a reconfigured exhaust header, and more aggressive mapping. 
These modifications are geared towards boosting top-end performance, as the electric motor already provides ample low-end power. In the Ninja 7 hybrid configuration, Kawasaki asserts that the 451 cubic centimeters engine generates 58 horsepower at 10,500 RPM and 32 pound FT of torque at 7,500 RPM. This liquid-cooled engine is accompanied by a 7 kilowatts, 9 kilowatts maximum interior permanent magnet electric motor positioned behind the engine cylinders. Power is supplied by a 48V lithium-ion battery, cooled by an air duct along the right side of the bike. The motor and battery each weigh approximately 29 pounds, but additional hardware, such as a separate radiator for the electric motor, contributes to the bike's increased weight. Crucially, Kawasaki emphasizes that while suppliers, Technic for the battery and Delta Electronics for the traction motor, were involved in the development of the motor and battery, all electronic management was handled in-house by Kawasaki. The Ninja 7 boasts several innovative features, including Kawasaki's first integrated starter generator, ISG, which combines the functions of the starter motor and generator to reduce weight. Even more intriguing is the presence of a six-speed automated manual transmission that allows riders to choose between automatic or manual button shift settings, eliminating the need for a clutch lever or traditional shift lever. In manual mode, riders shift gears using buttons on the left handlebar switch cluster, a design that posed significant software management challenges for Kawasaki engineers. The complexity doesn't end there, as Kawasaki has introduced various riding modes for the Ninja 7 Hybrid, including EV, Eco Hybrid, and Sport Hybrid. EV, tailored for low-speed, short-distance rides, particularly in residential or restricted areas. In this mode, the bike relies solely on the electric motor, with automatic gear shifts determined by the ECU, limited to gears 1 through 4. Eco Hybrid strives to strike a balance between electric and engine power. The electric motor assists in initial acceleration, with the engine coming online at around 2,000 RPM. When stationary, the engine shuts off to conserve fuel. Riders can choose between automatic or manual transmission settings, with a slight reduction in power to prioritize fuel efficiency. Sport Hybrid, geared towards spirited riding, fully utilizing both power sources. The 451 cubic centimeters engine delivers maximum power, and it remains active, with less emphasis on fuel consumption. Riders are limited to the manual transmission option in this mode. In addition, Kawasaki has introduced an e-boost function, available exclusively in sport hybrid mode and under specific conditions, example, traveling above a certain speed, opening the throttle beyond a certain degree. This feature temporarily utilizes battery power to enhance performance for up to 5 seconds, resulting in a claimed power output increase to 68.5 horsepower and 44.6 pound FT of torque. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.